There we go. A front Hades Merc, a side carousel um, uh, Gatling gun. Right, second off on the Lib GTK, we have a front Gat Mortar and a side Carronade Flare. And finally, on the um, Immortal Rambition, we have a front Gat Mortar, classic, and a side Carronade Flare. And then on the blue team, there is the Changer of Ways, a Primidian piloted by Byron Cavendish, which is double Hades with Banshee Flare Gun support. Next is the Tip of Oblivion, another Primidian piloted by Trevi, which is a Gat Mortar Classic with Carronade Flare support. And finally, the final Primidian today, Getty Lee's Schnoz, a... Uh, a Pyramidian piloted by Niche Day, and that is a, a Artemis Gatling uh, with another Artemis and a Flare Gun for support. Right, well, we see here the riders just immediately uh, making a beeline for that um, for that point and capturing it, and the, um, yes, Hydra uh, not even bothering to contest it. They're going right to Fortify E, and I think that's probably a smart decision. Yeah, it, it, just the way that the point started today, uh, that uh, the the first point D, which is pretty deep in red spawn, uh, just allowed them to get to it before a blue team even yes. had a shot. And, and both and, teams were aware of that. And, and just to kind of really hammer home this point, um, like I said, um, the uh, Black Channel Coalition, the blue the blue side here, mm -hmm. uh, they are. I mean, they have over a thousand points to make up, and just every gain they do have, it's going to be siphoned by twenty percent, and the other side is going to gain one point five more. So a I mean, the uh, the coalition has been really big today, as we see yeah. the fire start to go down here. Tip of Oblivion appears to be the target, taking some heavy, heavy merc damage as he bumps into. Getting these snows, perhaps a little body blocking, but armor is going to drop quickly on the Oblivion. That explosive damage is going to start coming in. Eventually, there we go. Mortars, rams, and he is at gone. Him. Yeah, excellent focus fire there. Pro great target prioritization. Now, LibGTK switching almost seamlessly to getting these snows. Getting these snows now under heavy fire now. And there goes the hole, and the explosive damage comes in like clockwork. Changer of ways is. Uh, very low and in limited arc, the riders have just come in here and mm. just taken the, uh, the defensive ships out one at a time. I mean, just really, all you can say is flawless execution uh, mm. by the riders mm -hmm. usual, just focusing a target, killing it, focusing another one, killing it, and another one, killing it. And almost in perfect timing as the point mm -hmm. changes just now, and all three of them will be capping it. I think the interesting thing to mention here, uh, the chariot, a front Merc Hades. That's very interesting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, and that it has been very effective. I mean, we saw armor drop quickly, and then the lib or the rambition has been providing that explosive damage mm. right when it was needed. It just yeah, I mean, really relying on the lib and the rambition to just provide that explosive damage. And I mean, it takes a lot of trust to kind of take that kind of loadout. But obviously, these pilots trust each other. Uh, I mean, a great deal. And yeah. For good reason. That, that uh, through that entire you know skirmish that just happened, the chariot lost about a third of his permine. All three holy crap! Oh my Libya goodness! Just got annihilated. Oh golly! Uh, this is just a a pretty, for lack of a better word, bad engage here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's understating <laughs> it a little bit. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, just completely split up. Um, Getting these snows just changing his mind at the last moment here. He's probably going to get killed as well. Changer of ways, just firing a few Hades shots, but it's really... Oh, dear. Yeah, um. Getty Lee's is almost out of engine. His hole is down, and he's... Yeah, there he goes. And as the riders are... I mean, are they moving to A already? There's still 125 seconds. Well, they, what, they're just wait, well, I, well, what they're doing here is they're just sort of maneuvering to a point where they could easily move to A, uh, but they can also defend E from the blue team at the same time. Yeah, Pretty that's much. real clever. Very, very clever indeed. Well, because there's no, because there's all Permidians here, you don't mm -hmm. have to worry about anyone outrunning you or outmaneuvering you. So it, it really takes away, and the fact that there's uh, six Permidians here really takes away an aspect of the game where you have to worry about um, other ships being faster uh, than you. Um, as uh, I mean, there's all the same ship. Oh, absolutely. Um, and you know, as I've sort of s said before, um, the riders. Um, Again, uh, last season of Aerodrome, when they were victorious, um, they always used Triple Pyrrha. 
Uh, mm -hmm. Only one time, only one match, they used a single Galleon. Otherwise, <laughs> it was always Triple Pyrrha. And here we see, uh, yeah, something very similar. Triple Pyrrha, Triple Pyrrha. And yeah. interesting here, the um, the riders going the long way around, eh? Not just, using the just pull shortcut. up this map, look at the formation that they're flying mm -hmm. in. Like, look how tight that they are. Mm -hmm. It's it's a, a second ago they were even tighter, and you see them falling into another formation now. It's just crazy. But but yeah, I mean, what do you think the reason here is not using the shortcut to A, taking the long way around? Um, I mean, they can fly through blue team spawn at this point and maybe mm -hmm. kill another one and delay its spawn uh, a little further. Also, the position that they were at before when they sort of pushed the front on blue spawn, um, it, it was almost about to take equal time to go either way, uh, just because of the position they got themselves into. Oh my goodness, uh, the, the ride is just absolutely dominating the already, but the Rambition's armor is down, tip of oblivion, a change of rage, they managed to get a decent amount of focus by getting each knots, staying alive a lot longer than we might have thought. Whether you're a brother or whether you're a mother, they'll be staying alive. <laughs> but those mercs are <laughs> not going to be too much longer before they just d puncture through the last bit of his arm. Get out my Barry Gibb voice. <laughs> <laughs> you do not want to hear it. It sounds like two cats copulating. Oh, uh, anyway. boy. <laughs> there goes Getting the schnoz. Oh, dear. Copulating to the ground there as it crashes <laughs> down. Uh, tip of oblivion. Oh, dear. It's all a bit pear shaped for the Hydra team. They're doing yeah, so well. They were getting. Focus fire is just oh. incredible. Oh, and my goodness. The riders have managed to, since that first engagement, always be on the defensive, which is an advantage, um, because usually there's one ship that's a little bit further forward uh, that's easier to gauge on an offensive uh, sort of uh, approach than on a defensive one. Just, oh, just absolutely flawed to play is, is all you can say um, about the riders in this match and pretty much this whole tournament. Yeah. Um, the, the riders only, I believe, lost really one match in this tournament they, they never that lost was the a match VIP. in the first one and that was the vip one so which again... it wasn't they, they lost the one match that wasn't go kill destroy <laughs> <laughs> they lost the one match that wasn't kill everything capture everything mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah and they were just i mean this was, i mean i believe that was the first time we really saw the squid mm. vip um, yeah, I'm sure exactly. they were anticipating the Galleon or Goldfish, you know, VIP, two of the, you know, ships on the tankier side that we'd been seeing um, all Aerodome so far. So, um, and uh, that was what I believe they were anticipating. And then when the squid was there, they didn't really know what to do with themselves. Mm -hmm. But I mean, d I, as far as like raid on the finery capture points go, I mean, these guys know exactly what they're mm -hmm. doing. No surprises. No special tricks, <laughs> twists or surprises. Absolutely. This first match. Poor Hydra has not been able to sit on a single point. Uh, the Hydra, oh my goodness. I mean, Hydra need to play flawlessly here. And it's very difficult to play flawlessly when, again, you've got that last minute clan clan substitute. Perhaps yeah. Nietzsche's mustache not familiar with what Hydra have been training in uh, for mm -hmm, this kind mm -hmm. of a matchup. Yeah. And that's, I mean, that is real tough, uh, especially when you're, you know, practicing strategy and, you know, going against the riders, you gotta, you know, lay down a certain amount of, uh, you know, training and practice and, uh, you know, coordination with pilots. Oh my goodness. Leaves. Look at this focus fire on oh my the Getty Leash Nod. But Getty Leash Nod actually goes underneath. Oh, but it's <laughs> Never not mind. good enough. I hope Live DTK, however, in that engagement has gone a little bit further ahead than his two allies being focus fired on the Tumbleweed and the Changer of Ways. His whole goes down. Live DTK's armor's down. A couple of Hades sinking. Um, oh, but a lot of them missing. He, he did oh, take a dear. fair chunk of damage. Oh, Changer of Ways did miss quite a few crucial Hades shots, though. And now Rambishran is coming in on the Changer of Ways. Lib loses oh. armor again, but gets it back up just as quickly. Rambishan misses his ram. Changer of Ways goes right on through, focusing on Chariot. And remember, we are in blue spawn, which will allow getting these schnoz, getting we had to get back in quite quickly here. Lou needs to just hold on for a little bit longer, but change of ways. Armor is down. Rambition coming in. Pull is up oh. right before that connection, and they even dodged out of the way. However, they're now revealing their tail end to the Rambition, uh, who was just helping them with Galley That Rambition was compensating every inch of change of ways in their attempt to evade. Mortar doesn't manage to finish him off, though. And now getting these schmores coming in on the Rambition. However, Tim of Bolivian's armor is down. 
tip of Oblivion is just, yeah, gets grinded out by the chariot, just doing that tap ram damage that oh we see. Oh my god, um, and if, if the uh, riders cap this point, which they almost certainly will, getting these schnoz needs to block this point. Uh, the, riders, think... the riders gonna have a floor, almost flawless victory here. Yeah, and the Getty Lushnaz does manage to take down the Rampishin, but at the expense of his own life to the Lib GTK and possibly uh, to the expense of the point as well. His change oh, is just too goodness. far gone. I'm not even sure. Were there 10 kills before that in this match, do you think? <laughs> um, I, you know what? There may have been with all the engagements that Riders flew, mm. and we saw at least two, three engagements, so there okay. may have been 10 kills all to the oh, Riders, my however. Oh, God. I mean, and that there is. is... So basically, there is a possibility, a possibility yeah. Hydra might get, get 10, 10 points from this match. 10 <laughs> points. I mean, wow. Oh, just the execution by the riders here was just so fantastic. And anyone who wants to get into the competitive scene, study this match and watch what the riders did today. Because that was all just textbook. Just textbook. And this is not saying anything to uh, the Brotherhood and Friends. Oh, absolutely uh, not. Downward ability. Just the riders were just so on point with everything. There was not a single mistake to exploit. No. Not a single mistake. Um, I mean, you said they've only lost a single ship and, like, half hull armor on both ships. That's, that's it. That's yeah. the only thing they've lost this entire game. Not not a single point, not a single contestion. Well, there may have been one contestion there at the end, and this is in the middle of blue spawn. And I think this might be a record for for shortest rate refinery match ever. It may be. As, as um, these things are, are notoriously long. Yeah, notoriously long, but uh, I certainly can't complain about it this game. And mm -hmm. points are ticking over the um, Hydra team, making one last valiant charge. Getty Lee Schnoz has got himself between a rock and a hard place as these two periods are on one side and a wall on the other. He goes down. However, Chariot loses all and explosive damage is beginning to see Changer Ways is coming in. Are they going to finish off the Chariot? Chariot rises above the mortars and that is mad. Mm, right, so I mean probably the Black Channel Coalition Hydra may be earning 10, <laughs> maybe 10 points from that. However, oh bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>